Blue Water CRM, cloud-based CRM software specifically designed for collection agencies, debt buyers, and sellers. This video is step one in setting up your Blue Water CRM portal. Prior to this video, you should have signed up for Blue Water CRM service. You should have received a username, password, and you should have received a link to your own private portal. Let's log in. When you log in as an administrator, which you are when you receive the email, you will see a two-paned system. Left side has your navigation and the right side has your search capabilities. The search function will be covered in other videos. Okay, let's go to the left-hand side, find department, click on it, and you'll see three links, view department, remote office, and manage menu. For the purposes of this video, we will not be covering remote office. That will be covered in another video. Let's click on view department. When I click view department, I can see a bunch of different columns, and I can see the current departments that I have in my system. When you start, you will only see the customer service department, that is the default department, and the user that we assigned you will appear in the customer service department. You can see from here, you can add, edit, and delete. You can view employees, you can see their activity, and you can see what manager has been assigned to manage that particular department. Let's click on add a department. If I click add, I get a dialog box and I can put uh, the name of my department, I'm going to call this Night Collections. I hit Submit. And when I hit Submit, you can see that it appears right here. What I'm going to do next is I need to assign a manager to it. So I'm going to click Edit. You can see right here I have a bunch of different users to choose from. I'm just going to pick the user that I call Team 1. I click on Team 1. I hit Submit. The department is uploaded. And you can see right here, Team 1 has been assigned to that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip up here to customer service. I'm going to go on to view an employee. And remember, customer service will be your default department. And this will be the department where you start. And you will see your name here. It has a user access of 1.1, which is the highest level access and has access to everything. You can change this. And we will show you how to do that in this video. You can see there's a bunch of different columns. I can add an employee, edit. I can see what date they started. This section here, here is for setting their goals, seeing how much they collected, and see how far they are for their goal for the day of the month. Uh, this right here is their post dates. First name, last name, you can see their user access code. You can see that these users are assigned to the customer service department. Right here, you get a good view to see who's logged into the system. And right here, you can see this is me. I am logged in. I can reset the password, and this is key for your collectors and non-managers. The system does not allow you to have multiple uh, accesses for the same user. So once you log in from one computer, you must log out of that computer and go to another computer login. If for some reason someone forgets, the manager can simply reset their session so they can start from scratch. Right here is a link to send them a reset password. The send user email appears when you have a brand new user in the system and they need to get sent their email. The send user email is sent to brand new users in your system and this is required so that your user can set up an ID. Okay, let's click on one of the employees and I think we're gonna click on user one. Let's click edit. When I click on edit, I can see username, uh, first name is username, last name is username. The email is pete at blue.com. The user has been set at user1, and this could be any arbitrary name that you pick. Below that is the user access code. The user access code can be set from anywhere from 1.1 all the way up to 4. Anything that is a 1.1 up to a 2.9 is considered a manager or supervisor. A 3 and a 4 are considered a collector or a non-management function. When you log in as a 304, you get a different uh, view of the system. You do not see the management links. 
We will be discussing this in more detail when we click on the Manage menu link below. The Blue Water CRM system allows you to set up specific user access capabilities. So what I can do right here is for this user, which is user one, or we could call him Joe, it wouldn't matter, you can see that we can assign them access to a specific state. So if we said, hey, listen, we only want user one, uh, the user to get access to Connecticut, Georgia, Maine, Michigan, North Carolina, and so on. And let's say we only wanted uh, this user one to get client access to these couple of clients. So car loan, gross client, and this new client, and these lists of buyers. When I choose these and I hit submit down here, this particular user will only be able to work accounts that are in Connecticut, Georgia, Maine, uh, North Carolina, or Michigan, if they're with this car loan client or if they're a buyer of these particular groups. This is a great system because it locks it down and makes sure that that user does not see anything that they should not. When I hit submit, that will change it. I also have the ability to change their department. I can move them to any department that I want. I can see their start date, and I can also set a daily goal for them if I want. Let's say I want to give this user a daily goal of 500 bucks and a, a monthly goal of, let's say, 3,000. It allows you to set it. Once it sets it, the rest of the system grabs it, and it can be seen on the dashboards as well as all of the reporting. Let's hit the back button and go back to the main screen. That is the basic setup of the departments as well as the employee functions within the system. The next link I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Manage Menu. When I click on Manage Menu, you can see 1.1, 1.6. And if you look at these, these user access codes match the user access codes that we saw on the other page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add. When I click Add, I can choose another user access. If you notice something here, I see all of the other user access codes that haven't been assigned yet. So if I set, let's say 1.8, and I'm gonna set that to Night Manager. I click Submit. I have a new Night Manager person right here, as right here is our, where is it? 1.8. So I go to Night Manager. Now, if I click on Manage, when I click on Manage, you notice something right away. This right side matches this left side. So these are all the links and capabilities, and these are my choices that I can uh, assign and give access to. So I'm going to click Expand All. I look down here, and you can see that none of these have been chosen. So by default, the system won't give you access. So what I'm going to say is, okay, this person may want to uh, be a collector sometimes. Maybe they'll have to interact with uh, clients. So they'll need a, a link to collector mode. Uh, they're going to need to assign queues, edit queues, review queues. I can uh, give, they can have access to clients. And they're going to need to run some, an activity report, an actuarial, and maybe a collections report. I scroll down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit submit. And now once I hit submit, that 1.8 link that I have right here will now limit their access. So these are very interesting features uh, that are built into the system. When any of these users log in, they will only see on the left-hand side what you have given them permission to see. So we give complete control, a very granular level of management to uh, the super users, to the owners of the system, and to the supervising staff to allow them to create, add, and edit any user or any part in the system. In this video, you should have learned how to create a department, how to delete a department, how to create an employee, delete an employee, and you should have learned how to create and manage the menu.
The menu is one of the key components of this system and allows you to lock down the system and allow down, lock down links so that users can't get access to them. Thank you for watching this video. Each video is designed to give an in-depth overview of every single component of the system. My goal is to make you a blue water CRM expert. Thank you for watching.